Oh, what is up, everybody? Hopefully, everybody is having a great time. Now, once again, everybody, do not forget to hit the like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and definitely hit the bell notification. Now, once again, guys, before I do start the video, I'm going to show you how to, co um, to connect, or should I say how to merge your Epic Game account to your Rocket League account. Now, I do want to let you guys know that anything that you get, like for some primary reason, you guys manage to purchase these vehicles. Any of these vehicles that you purchase, they will basically be transferred to your Rocket League um, account. Okay, so if you go to Rocket League, you will instantly unlock this. It will show up. Guess what? Even the rewards. You see these rewards right here that they show you the wheels and all that? It should show you right there. You see all those colors those customized colors you see these wheels let me show you uh if you guys play rank you see those wheels the color wheels you see these wheels they all will be transferred to your account okay all these wheel colors they will be transferred to your um to that account and once again um i'm gonna show you step by step okay and just to point this out guys i'm gonna let you guys know one thing uh, basically this video is a little bit old but um, just follow it's, it's literally the same step so just follow the same step and you can merge your epic game account with your for uh with your rocket league account okay so basically you're merging your fortnite account with your rocket league account so you could get the lamborghini if you, anybody wants the lamborghini if you already own the lamborghini uh i'm gonna show i'm you know i'm gonna show you in this video so you could transfer it on fortnite and play the lamborghini if you do have it okay but anyway, let's get started. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. Uh, and uh, oh, one more thing I do before I do continue with the video. Uh, before I'm about to show you uh, what you guys need to do. Uh, make sure that you guys download your the Rocket League game. So if you have not downloaded the Rocket League game, make sure that you guys do that. So please download it. And uh, once you download it, we are going to basically um, start it up. And uh, I'm going to put the link. Make sure you create your account, all right, while you're at it. So please create your account, all right? Your Epic, if you don't basically have it, make sure you have your 2FA, your two-factor authorization. Make sure you go to the Rocket League website or the link that they're giving you. And uh, you can basically sign in through the Rocket League and all that. But anyway, at this moment, I'm going to show you what you guys need to do. So just go to... Um, setting or you could go to the Rocket League website, okay? Or you could um, come over here and click on manage account link and you can link your um, your account by typing uh, rocketleague.com slash at it. All right, and then I'm gonna tell you everything. Anyway, um, just follow the step, okay guys? Follow the step. Matter of fact, go to the Rocket League website. That's the best thing I'm gonna tell you, okay? So let's go. Matter of fact, let's go to the Rocket League website. Go to, uh, once you go to Epic website, you're going to log in through your PlayStation or through your Xbox or through Nintendo Switch or stream, whichever one. All right. If you're on stream, you're going to log in like this. All right, guys. And also, please make sure that you have enabled 2FA. OK, make sure you enable that, too. So you can either enable it through your email or through the cell phone or app. I recommend you either do it with the cell phone or email. So, yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is that as soon as you click on that, it's going to take you to the Rocket League website. All right. This is how it look like. All right. And what you're going to do is that you're going to click on this over here where you say play free i'm gonna show you right now this is how it looked like just click on that right there all right guys and as soon as you click on that uh you're gonna basically see this right here and then you're gonna click on uh epic okay make sure you click on epic this is the one that you're gonna click on all right guys and then once you basically click on that it will instant log you in through Epic, okay? And also make sure that you have Rocket League downloaded fully, okay? And then start it up, all right? Now, once you basically start up the Rocket League, Rocket League is going to give you a little tutorial. You're going to do that little tutorial. And then once you are done, this is going to pop up. It's going to say link account found, all right? And what it's going to tell you is that you're going to click on yes, okay? You see we say yes? Click on yes, all right? Now, once you click on yes, it's going to tell you to go to the website again. 
and it's going to tell you to type this in right here. It's going to call rockily.com uh, slash activate it. Okay, so you're going to activate it. Okay, you're going to type that in on the, you know, the URL. You're going to type it in. You're going to go back to your computer. You're going to type that in. All right. And then once you type that in on the URL, okay, um, it should take you to straight to Rockily website login. Okay, so you're gonna do it just like that. You see how I'm doing it? Just like that, all right? And then once it does take you right here, just log in, okay? Click on that right there, okay? Now, once you basically click on that, this is gonna pop out right here. It's an Epic Game Account Lincoln, all right? And I'm gonna tell you something right off the back, okay? Before we do start, guys, make sure if you already have an account on the Rocket League, it, it should say, primary account okay if you're on playstation and if it does say that on the bottom it said primary you see how it said primary account you do not need to do this step that i'm about to tell you okay guys so i'm just letting you know so if you already have that on the playstation you like you have that in the bottom or in nintendo switch or on xbox one and he said on the bottom primary account then you do not need to do this step that I'm about to tell you. Okay, guys, it's really, really important that you guys should know this. All right. If you have it on the bottom on the Nintendo Switch, say primary account. Like I said, you don't have to do this step. If you have it for the Xbox One and it's on the bottom primary account, then you don't have to do it for the uh, you don't have to do this step that I'm about to tell you. All right, guys. But yeah. But anyway, if you do not have that, then you need to do this step that I'm about to tell you. Okay, guys. So, yeah, guys, so once again, if you don't have it, just basically click on change primary. Click on that right there. You will see it like right in the bottom. All right, guys. And then you're going to click on next. OK, it's going to tell you, you know, you can log in with your stream. You can log in on Xbox or Nintendo Switch, whichever one. I'm going to log in on my PlayStation. So um, uh, once you do that, uh, you're going to select which one you want. You're going to select either the Xbox one, the PlayStation one, Nintendo Switch. I'm going to select the PlayStation one right here. And then once I do select it, I'm going to click on um, preview. All right, guys. All right, it, it should pop up. All right, you'll see it kind of blue. It will, you will, it will light up blue, okay? And then click on that, all right, guys? And then once you click on that, it should basically uh, tell you this. It say you are choosing Xbox One, PlayStation 4 to your primary account, you know, and you're just going to click on OK. And then once you click on OK, you're going to click on Confirm, all right? And then once you basically click on Confirm, then it should automatically be your primary account, all right, guys? And there you go. And that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. It's not even that hard at all. So at this moment, you guys could come to basically Fortnite. And now you basically have the Lamborghini if you ever have it on the Rocket League. And that's how you merge it. Okay. That's how you merge your um, account. And by the way, I did say PlayStation 4. Uh, like I said, that video is pretty old, but it's the same step. I double checked it just to double check it two times. And it's literally the same step to basically do it. So you guys won't have no problem in that video. I explain it very well. And matter of fact, that video took me a long time to add it. I'm not even gonna lie. So please at least like the video because I put effort on that video. I'm not even gonna lie. I put a lot of effort on that video and I explain it very well. But basically, guys, once you do that, you could transfer your vehicle to your Rocket League and your Rocket League vehicle. You could transfer it to your Fortnite. That's it. That's pretty much it, guys. Take care and have a blessed day.